Just doing a wiggle and a dangle. There's a good size one right there with his head up in front of the uh, the um, fountain that's playing. So if you wanted to take the shot from here, you probably do it. I mean, watch it. Wait, wait for him to come. There he comes. Now you got a nice backstop of the dirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how they are. You got to get around the eye. Try to hit him around the eye. Hang on. Go take a shot. I'm gonna try to hit him. Oh, you got him. Good. There, that's it. That was the death spot. Nice. How hard is it to kill an iguana? Well, they're hardy. <laughs> I have I've gone out with... Uh, well, it's a few times. Yeah. Well, Ryan the iguana hunter gets quite a few himself. Hey guys, I'm Jessica with Iguana Solutions and we're out here bringing our friend Christian on a trip iguana hunting at a job that y'all recently seen us at already. And so Christian, why don't you tell us about yourself and your channel and what you do? Hey, I'm Christian. I'm just a basic enthusiast. I've been air gunning for a little while now, about eight years or so, and I really enjoy it. And uh, my channel, if you haven't seen it, is uh, Airgun Supremacy on YouTube and you can check me out on uh, Instagram as well. And what did you bring with you today? Today I brought the caliber gun Cricket Carbine Mini in 22 caliber. Okay, okay, let's see it. All right. Does it come with this case? No, no you bought this. No, case. this is a plain old case, yeah. very decent, decent, very little case. So, anyways, here you go. Here's the um, caliber gun. It's uh, slightly modified just to do the. Um, I do these jobs right here. I actually made a little video about how to do this on my channel if you're interested. And uh, yeah, it just needs a little um, adapter inside here that I detail on the video, I believe. And we have a Donnie FL Koi. And uh, yeah, there she is. I love this gun. What's the scope? The scope is an Arkin. Uh, and this is a four, uh, no, I'm sorry, six by 20 to 24 by 50. What do you usually use this gun for? Pesting, uh, target. I mean, it's very versatile. I like it because it's not a bullpup it's not a full length it's a what you call a semi bullpup so you can see the action is still behind the trigger here but the butt of the gun is not does not end here you still have a little more length and this style of gun very similar to like the uh sahara the brokaw yes, sahara I have it. they they are what you call a semi bullpup as well and that's kind of like my favorite configuration set these to shoot anywhere from I don't know 18 foot pound all the way up to 32 it does max out at about 32 okay so uh, but that's you know I do most of my stuff backyard and even in the field it's perfect those are perfect numbers for us to get iguanas so that we don't get shots that are going too far and so that we don't get ricochets that are taken off down the water or down the way and so but it is enough to be able to take out big iguanas so it's the perfect gun to try out alongside ours and we're gonna go see if we can find some iguanas it's a little overcast today so we're gonna see how that goes what are yep. you gonna say for today uh, it is tuned at 28 uh, after talking to you and talking about the needs uh, at the site I decided that 28 would be the proper you know tune for it so that's what I did so we're gonna go out there and see what we can find hopefully we get to show y'all the cricket taking out iguanas and the atomic taking out iguanas at the same time after or whatever 
Yeah. So Christian has a really cool air tank. You know, my tank is really large, which is awesome. But if you're going out and you just want to be a single hunter and moving around and keep the air with you, he has a really cool option here. Tell us about it. I uh, picked this up and wanting it just for field work if I ever go, you know, to the woods and things like that. Um, I'm located up in Georgia and it's very thick woods out there. So this little guppy is from Omega. Picked it up from AOA. Um, they're relatively on the pricey side for the size compared to what you get on a bigger one. But convenience wise, I mean, you know, uh, you throw this in a backpack and you have ready air for a decent, probably a couple days hunt. Yeah, it has, um, it's just enough for a single hunter to go around and keep filling a, a tank so that if you have a low shot count, you can keep filling your gun without having to return back to your vehicle, however you got there. So it's a really cool option. If you've never seen it, I've never seen it. It was really cool to check out. Yeah, Thanks. no doubt. All right. He's out over the water. Oh, he's moving now. He's oh, moving. I see, I see the tail now. You see him? Well, oh, there's a green one, yep. There's like three. He says there's two. No, there's like three. No, no, that's a squirrel. That I see a big one right here and yeah. one right here. I'm trying to catch the angle so I can't shoot the building. So I'm going to take another step right. I'm going for the bright green one. Do you see her? Yep. There's another one closer to us, above us, that's uh, there too. This is going pretty close. I'm just trying to get where I don't catch branches for her head. I don't see a shot on her head, you No, I'm looking. Oh, right here. But right here. The building behind me? Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, I got it right here. Oh, you see the big one going down the branch over there. Keep your eye on him so we can find him whenever we're finished with this one. Got him. Got him. Is he dangling? Yep, like a Christmas ornament. I love it. So that was on low power, y'all. Where's the big last branch? Look. It's walking back in. Watch your step. Watch your step. I hear you. I hear you. Right here, up, up, right here, right here. Look at the far branches. Oh, wait, there's the one right above us, right here. Perhaps. Oh, oh, yeah. There is, there is, I see it. Oh, there's two right above us. There's one walking the branch. The big one, he says. You shoot the big one, Christian. Okay, I've got a, a good iguana right here on the branch of screen. Can okay. You see it, CJ? Yes, ma'am. He'll shoot him on low. I'm holding over him because I'm shooting so low. Oh, he's going to move. Where'd he go? He's going down the branch. I see him now, wait. Oh, he's pushing it up. Shot too low. I should turn the power. Let me find it before. Yeah, I do oh, I see it. Let me see. I'm gonna get a better angle. Right. I don't like this angle with that building. It's hard because. You know. <laughs> you know. You know. You see her? Yeah, I got eyes on her. She got a big old fat belly hanging down. They're about to start making eggs. Beautiful shot. She's dead. Beautiful. Shot. That was really nice, man. Was a good shot. That was it a good shot. So offhand and everything. Offhand, and I'm not a, I'm not an offhanded shooter. I just don't brag about that ever. It's hard. Uh, it's, a, it's a difficult thing. Look, there's another big one right there. See it out over the water on the tip of that branch. Its butt is facing us, it's looking away from us. It's easier to see from over here. You just yeah. can't take it because of the building. Yeah, I have a head. Right there. Yeah, I see a head shot. You see it? I see a head Well, I mean, I, I mean, I see the iguana. So, really hard to find it. Step back right here. 
we have a diamond shaped window where we can prove you see the diamond okay and so between the two points of the diamond in the middle there's an iguana bread between those two points of this big diamond that we're looking at the iguana bread the iguana bread and the blue sky behind you you see him you want to shoot him i see the butt i see the tail coming this way yeah you see the iguana i mean that's i'm gonna have to do uh again take some hard shot but, and I don't like the angle here on the building either. Right, that's what I was trying to over okay. here. Look where I'm at. There's no angle on any building over here. I can see the iguana through a little window right here. Oh, there's another iguana right here. Go ahead and go for it. I'm good. Okay, let me see if right. I can shoot the... Hard time seeing there. I don't think I have a headshot there. There's an iguana with his head up right here, though. I see it. See the close one? Yeah, you Let me get the close one. All right. Is it me or you, Christian? You. I'm just looking. That's there. The, that's the big one that I was telling you about before. This is ridiculous. He's ridiculous. We have that early morning stretch. But there's that other one out there, y'all. He's got his head facing left now. Do you see him through the leaves? Yeah, I see him. We still have clear, open background. I'm back shooting on high power. All right, one second. I'm going to change my pair of lights. If he's closer to 20 yards, do agree? Yep. Maybe a little under it. Maybe like 17 or something. Yeah. All right, I got visual. I barely see him. I think you got him. Yeah. Cool. I think you did. I think we got him. <laughs> Concept comes through with his friend the cricket. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take a shot on him. He's 10 yards. All right, I'm coming over. Here he comes, seeing fallen. Hmm. He's just stuck in all the branches. He's dangling, he just definitely in... took that one to the. It looks like it hit him right behind the eye. I didn't get him in the eye, and it was aiming for the eye. So he's just in time for Christmas. Getting the fall. No, that was low. Went over him? That was low. That was he low. went under him? Yeah. yeah, yeah you go so hold like four or five, then your gun's a little stronger than mine. Yeah. I'd hold a four. He's still. That wasn't my hold over yet. That was a. Uh, how you like? I hit the super branch, low. Right? You just went both super low than before. Yeah. So that first shot, just, there it is. And you got him in the eye. Look at him just fall. Beautiful. Gone into the abyss. It's deep right here too. Remember last time we tried to scoop? It's yeah. like six feet deep. In the Where's where? The iguana is out there, but there's one in the tree right here. I'm gonna shoot, so don't walk in front of me, okay? Uh, I was just about to do that. Don't do that. Let me just drop this parallax a little. He's only like 15 yards away. Got him right in the eye. He's like curled up on the ground. Nice shot. Thanks. I, it was like uh, holding, yeah. barely yeah. skimming his head at 15 yards for oh. where I'm zeroed right now. Showing your gun. 
We got the cricket. And then I am on your iguana now. Beautiful, rolled him over, took the head shot. He loved it. Nice shot, 45 yards. You ranged it with what? Uh, this good little Nikon right here, Oculon. Perfect. Yeah. Got that iguana. There's a medium iguana right here in the tree. He's really, really close. So we're using our really, really close gun. Down. Really? It's been a ricochet right there. Oh, do you want me to do a low shot? No, you can. Oh my goodness. In my face. <laughs> okay, guys, we're wrapping up over here. We lost more than half of our iguanas to the water. So many sunk today, it was unreal. So I'll definitely have to come back because there's just going to be too many that float up. But uh, how'd it go for you, Christian? Excellent. I had a great time, and I want to thank you for having me, hosting yes. me, and um, you know, showing me a great time hunting iguanas here in South Florida. Uh, many dinosaurs as they are. And uh, yeah, trying to put a little dent in them. I'm so glad you made it down here and you made it over to the uh, shoot in Leesburg too, right? Absolutely. That was a fantastic time, especially seeing some of the folk. I wasn't shooting at the event, but I was helping out, you know, set up and dismount and whatnot. So yeah. Because yeah, if time. you didn't know, the field target event that happened in Leesburg, it came down to a shoot off and the guys kept being even with the shooting over and over so it became more and more difficult and it was a lot of fun to see the winners so um thanks for joining we got lots of iguanas today even though it doesn't appear so what we got two four six eight right here we probably got closer to 20 22 iguanas and so the cricket caliber gun came through for you it came through uh there's only one drawback to this gun and that was the nut behind the trigger me um more used to a little bit of longer shots the closer in shots uh, a little bit more challenging for me, but yeah, this is a phenomenal gun and I can always count on it. Yep. Good stuff. So he's totally adjustable to be able to come down and do the iguanas. And so he just needs to be able to get a better look at the iguanas on close range because his scope is set up for longer distances is the only issue he had. But the gun is super capable. The concept came through. I had my holds off a bit uh, today, so I'm going to go out to the range and recheck the holds on this gun. Um, but I was happy with how it performed and we got lots of iguanas out of here and that's the point. So got you iguana and thanks for joining us, Christian. My pleasure. Hey, tell us the name of your channel one more time. Airgun Supremacy. Um, not a big channel, just uh, do it for fun and you know, for my own learning and hopefully I can impart something on some folks. Uh, one of my biggest hits is my trap, my pellet trap. Okay. With uh, the rubber mulch, I built one for Erlis. Yes. And that one is very portable, super easy, and very inexpensive to do. We built one too after you did that. Right. Uh -huh. uh, it's, it's such a nice, successful thing. I've actually seen a very prominent air gunner recently uh, do his own, you know, video, video teaching. Video on making yep. those. Yep. So if you ever need a pellet trap because you have a close range area to shoot that you need to catch all those pellets, making a uh, pellet trap using rubber rubber scrap, rubber, mulch. Right? rubber yep. mulch and so if you need to see how to do that it's on his channel along with a lot of other great information he has a lot of fun guns too so catch us next time got you iguana iguana solutions Peace and air gun supremacy five yards you think oh uh, no i'd guess closer to 25. Think, but i underestimated last time you think he's closer to 35. On him. You ready? Yep. We're gonna go slow and ride up on him. I think he just fell in the water. Or something went in the water. 
See the, the ripples? He may have. It's not him, he's right here. Solutions, and I'm out here at Extreme Field Target in Leesburg, Florida. I just arrived. I haven't done anything yet, and I think I'm late. So I'm gonna go check it out. But it looks like there's all this cool stuff going on behind me. It looks like there's all the targets set up out in the field. It's the van from AOA. Drove all the way out here with all the cool air gun stuff. Let's take a peek inside real quick. Ooh, air gun stuff. There's a few air guns right there. Look out over the EFT targets. It looks like sandhill cranes. I think they're sandhills, y'all. Look at them. They're super loud. I didn't know what that sound was. How cool is that? Out here at the Extreme Field Target Sandhill Cranes. This is the registration booth. People with air guns. First target, 52 yards. Are you going for the bison? No, I Elk. thought it was the... What are you going? It's on... What, what does it say on the stake? What is that thing? Bison. That's not a bison. That's, That's a, a fucking elk. Elk. raccoon looking thing. Or el elk or That's something. That's an alligator, isn't it? That thing looks like a raccoon. Oh, no, that is a raccoon. Yeah, yeah that's a coon then. Meerkat or something. <laughs> Y'all should change that on the stick. I didn't even think about that. It's not. Yeah. I'll, I'll change it right after filming for you. I hit oh, him. Nice. Take that raccoon. Bison raccoon. He will be active. I got, uh, I got two guys. That's got them. Yeah. They're, they're, uh, we actually, they're shooting on uh, Beautiful, and it's on video. Look at that. <laughs> Everything around, and then when you post, you can oh, zoom in on the screen, come back out. Down it went. It's a hit, it's a hit. Okay. Now, let's see what I gotta do here to get the gator in. Good hit. Got that stinking yeah. lizard too. Got that gator. <laughs> Devin knows he's a lizard too. Large lizard. Just a little bigger. 28 yard pigeon. The shot. Good shot. Gonna get a 28 yard pigeon with the ghost 22 cap. 
I can find the pigeon. Yes! Yeah. Okay guys, I just wanted to share some of the results with you. I ended up shooting 11 out of 40 at the first day of Extreme Field Target 2023, which is an awful score, which is typical for me at, e at uh, EFT, Extreme Field Target. But um, we managed to clean my barrel, and today I did excellent i got a 29 out of 40 which makes me ecstatic super happy so thanks for joining us we've had a great time and i'm about to run over and see if i can't get some pictures of the uh shoot off mm -hmm.